Hi there, this is Ash from UK DAB Networks, hope you're well. In this video, I'm going to try and explain how many stations you can actually put onto a DAB digital radio multiplex. And unfortunately, there is no short answer. However, to save you watching to the end of the video, I'll tell you what my answer is. My answer is 29. However, if you watch on, you'll see that it's not quite as straightforward as that. So the first thing we need to know about a multiplex is how much data do we actually have to play with? Now, a DAB digital radio multiplex is made up of 864 capacity units. And a capacity unit is made up of 64 bits. And with those 864 capacity units, you can broadcast your services. And there are two elements to the service. There's the actual bit rate of the service, the data that's being carried, and then there's the error protection. And there are five levels of error protection available. Level one being the most robust, and then level five being the least robust. Now most services are broadcast at protection level three. So for the purposes of this video, that's what I'm going to refer to. Okay, so that seems quite straightforward, doesn't it? Let's have a look at a typical multiplex. So if we look at this recording that I've done here of the BBC National DAB multiplex, um, you can see that it's currently broadcasting 12 audio services plus a data service. So we have the audio services here, and then here is the data service. Now, if we look below here, um, you can see uh, where each service fits on the multiplex. So we have uh, BBC Radio 1 at the front there. Now that uses 96 capacity units. The next 96 capacity units is used by Radio 2. The next 140 is used by Radio 3 and so on. Um, we have this little one at the end here, the uh, data service on 24. In fact, let me open up a uh, sub-channel tab where it's uh, kind of easier to see here. So you can see the bit rate in this column here of a service. You can see the protection level here. So we know that uh, UEP3, 128 kilobits, uses 96 capacity units. So uh, yeah, it goes all the way through uh, like that. So is the number of services 12? Well, it isn't, is it? because we have some services here that are at different bit rates. So for example, uh, we have 128 kilobit service here using 96 capacity units. We also got two 64s here, which when you add them up, 48 capacity units each, that comes out at 96, doesn't it? So could you chop all of these services up and get more onto the multiplex? Absolutely. So pushing a multiplex to its absolute limits, the ports of multiplex, which I manage on behalf of Angel Radio, at one point last year, back in April, um, for seven hours a day between midnight and 7 a.m., the multiplex broadcast 32 services. Um, and then for the rest of the day, it broadcast 31 services. Did that for a few weeks. Um, and the reason for it being 32 services overnight is that if you have a look through the lineup here, you can see that 60s and Flash are broadcasting the exact same content. And that's because those two stations simulcast programs between midnight and 7 a.m. So that allowed me to broadcast an additional service. Here it is, Birdsong at night. So for seven hours a day, there's Birdsong at night. And that took us to 32 services. So here's a static list of all the services that we broadcast on the ports of Multiplex that time. So you can see here, 31 sub-channels and 32 services, because of course two services are pointing to the same sub-channel. At the bottom here, you can see the snapshot of the multiplex. So the very first service there, Express FM, da 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 da, all the way up to Weather 24-7 Radio right at the end of the list. In fact, uh, the sub-channel page kind of uh, breaks it down a bit more neatly. So you have Express FM as the first service, which broadcasts in uh, MP2 DAB, or vanilla DAB, as some people may know it. Broadcasts at 112 kilobits a second, at protection level 3, therefore it's 84 capacity units. And then if you go to the extreme uh, of that, uh, Weather 24-7 radio uh, is at 16 kilobits, and that only needed 12 capacity units. So... This information here goes into the fast information channel and the fast information channel is made of fast information groups. And that's what we have on this page here. 
So I'll just close this tab for a second. So you can see these are the groups that are broadcast or were broadcast at that time on the ports of Multiplex. So we have basic things here like uh, information about the Multiplex there, and then the sub-channel organization, which is very important um, for the receiver knowing where each station was located. Now, what the DAB spec says is that you should aim to broadcast this information 10 times a second. However, Ofcom do allow you to deviate this by up to a third. Um, so you can see here around nine and a half times a second. So just a little bit under there. So while filming this video, I came across an old snapshot from the BBC National DAB Multiplex that I took back in April 2019. Here you can see there's only 12 services uh, plus a data service, so 13. So you'd think if we go and have a look in the figs that uh, sub-channel organisation would be high, but you can see here the average is actually lower than the 32 service Portsmouth example that I showed you. And the reason for that is because the BBC are broadcasting a lot more information overall. So there's other information that we just weren't broadcasting in Portsmouth, like for example, service linking. And so um, the fast information channel, uh, which contains all the figs, only has 96 kilobits a second of data. So you can't physically jack up the fig repetitions of these if you want to broadcast all the other services there just simply isn't enough data so at the time i'm recording this video sunday the 13th of february 2022 the ports of multiplex is actually broadcasting 28 services and that's a conscious decision that i've made in fact uh, as i said at the start of the video i consider the limit to be 29 services so the question of why 29 services, well, that's just based on my experience. I noted that when we went to 30, 31 and 32 services, albeit briefly, the number of reports that came in from listeners, either directly uh, or through social media or other online channels, the number of issues started increasing with people having trouble tuning into the multiplex. What was happening is that some stations were missing totally random as to which stations will be missing or well, some people couldn't tune into stations at all some of these radios had the digital radio uk green tick mark as well so we're not really talking rogue receivers in any case the 32 station multiplex lineup was a bit of an experiment with things like the bird song channel they were just services that we were running internally so we didn't have any paying customers so very quietly we went back down to 29 services and that's where it stayed for a little while Around a decade ago, there was another issue involving cars that were made by a certain manufacturer in the early to mid noughties, radios that couldn't actually decode DAB+. They had issues when a multiplex went to 14 services, whereby they were dropping services. However, that's a bit of a moot point these days because there aren't really any multiplexes, or certainly not many, that broadcast 14 services in MP2 DAB. Anyway, I hope this video was useful to you. A bit of an explainer as to why I consider the limit to be 29. It's based on real world experience and uh, I'd advise you certainly no more than 29. Absolutely less is fine. Before anyone says in the comments, of course, you can broadcast two or three services on a multiplex. That's entirely up to you. But anyway, now you know what the most number of services you can broadcast is. If you found that useful, then please like and subscribe. And if you want to know more about digital radio, then please visit the website ukdab.net. We're on the socials. And if you want to get in touch with me, it's ash at ukdab.net. And I'll see you soon. Bye.